My name is Joy Pinto, and I'm here today representing all of the pregnancy medical centers just in the state of Alabama. In our state, we have over 76 pregnancy resource centers. 22 of them are medical, and we also have four mobile units. What does a pregnancy medical center do? Well, I have the privilege of being a director at Her Choice Birmingham Women's Center in downtown Birmingham, Alabama, on the south side where at one time there were seven abortion clinics just in Southside, Alabama. The name of our center is Her Choice. When a woman wants to have an abortion, she's gonna, in these days, she's gonna Google and find out exactly where she'd like to go. Pregnancy medical centers offer free ultrasounds, free pregnancy tests. We offer STD testing. We also offer parental education, how to stop making poor life choices and to change our lives because so many women are hurting. We also have earn while you learn classes. We have mentoring programs for the husbands, the boyfriends, the significant other, and we have Embrace Grace, which is a, a class for m moms who find themselves in an unplanned pregnancy and maybe they feel separated from God, maybe they feel shunned by the church, and they need to know that God loves them. The beautiful thing that we do is we promote life-affirming choices. We eradicate hopelessness. We champion life. So when clients come to our center, we have the conversation where we, to, we empower them with the truth. Compassion is telling someone the truth in love. And in Alabama, when a woman is in an unplanned, unexpected pregnancy, the law of this land has taught her and our country that abortion is the answer. There's no reset button after abortion. It is a lie. Women and men suffer, and the lives of those pure, innocent children have to pay the price. The law is a teacher. 61 million babies have been aborted since 1973, and it is my prayer that this law that we passed in Alabama to protect human life from the moment of conception will teach not only our state that all human life should be protected and that it's sacred and it has dignity, value, and worth, but our nation and it, everyone in the world is watching what is happening in Alabama. You know, we're passing uh, heartbeat bills, and they're great and wonderful, but let me tell you something. Pregnancy medical centers on a daily basis have seen thousands of clients. Everything that we do is free. We get no federal funding. It's from the people of God who support and say, give them an option. Abortion is not the only answer. And so I pray that this law teaches the state and the world that all life is sacred. You know, there is one great heart that is beating, and it's the sacred heart of Jesus. And he's watching this state, our nation. What can you do? Say yes to life. We are about hope, not hopelessness. And I believe without a shadow of a doubt that when a woman hears her baby's heartbeat, 80% of those women choose life, and that's what the pro-abortions hate and they're afraid of. They're afraid of the truth. And I believe that love and truth will end abortion in our state, in our nation, and in the world. God bless you and God bless Alabama.